People living in the Helena Valley have been dealing with high water for weeks. MTN's Jonathan and Barian talked to community members and county leaders about how they're responding to the latest round of rising waters. On Wednesday, many Helena Valley homeowners were again dealing with floodwaters on their properties. Seth Dombach dug a channel to try to divert some of the water out of his front yard. We had sandbags almost all the way across to my neighbors, but then cleaned that up about a week and a half ago, and then it rain came again, so. Like many people, Dombach says he's been pumping water out of his basement for weeks, but he says the latest surge came as a surprise. People were sandbagging all night last night uh, because there's literally no, no warning enough till it's too late, and people are sandbagging in two feet deep of water. Lewis and Clark County leaders have set up an incident command post at the West Valley Fire Station. From there, they're keeping an eye on conditions around the county and sending updates to the public. We have responders in Lincoln, Augusta, and then here in Helena, especially in the valley, who are monitoring the flooding and the road conditions, bridges, that kind of thing. They're also preparing for the potential of more rain over the coming days. We have to be adaptable and respond as things change. And the structure, this incident command structure, will help us be more flexible and be able to ramp up if things get worse, ramp down if things improve. Dombach says he's hopeful the waters won't remain as long as they did in May, but he believes the need won't stop once the flood is over. It'd be great to hopefully get support when the water goes down. There's a lot of people hurting, uh, gonna be hurting. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. County leaders say they will post flooding updates, including any road closures on their website and Facebook page. You can find links to those on our website at the KTVH.com.